Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome to our Objective C for Absolute Beginners book. Tonight, we're going to be covering a part of the material in Chapter 5, Making a Class in Objective C in Xcode. And uh, today, on July 20th, is when um, Lion has been re uh, released. So you can download um, Xcode um, 4.1. Um, currently is available and it is free if you have your developers username and password otherwise I think it's like 999 or something so anyway we talked a little bit about this in my class tonight we went over a lot more of the material than we have time in a 10 minute YouTube session here uh, but if you'd like to attend uh, the live courses just go to excelme.com click on courses if you'd like to look at all the free videos just go under free videos here and here's all the their 10 minute segments um, kind of a shorter um, synopsis uh, from the courses which are usually about an hour or more. All right, and um, so tonight let's go ahead and work through creating an Objective-C class. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and open up our Xcode, and I'll go over here where Xcode is, and I'll say File, New, and I'm gonna make a new project. And this is just gonna be a plain Jane command line Objective-C application, um, and I'm going to call it um, um, Seminar, let's call it Seminar YouTube, YouTube, and I'm going to make sure that it is derived uh, from the foundation. It uses the foundation library. So I'm going to say Foundation Next, and I'll just call it um, YouTube, put it on my desktop, create. And if I click on my groups and look at um, my code, I can see that it's right here. And here's my entry point is my main, my dot main. And I wanna make a class and use a class. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you wanna to do to make your own class is say file, new, click on file. And you need to say who its parent is gonna be, what it's gonna come from. Well, ours is gonna be an Objective C type class. And with that, we're going to want to use NS object as its parent. You always want to have your classes come from a parent because it does an awful lot of work for you already. And typically, all your classes' parents will come from NS object. But we don't have another, another parent class that we want to use, so we just want to say NS object. And chances are, most of your classes that you make, you want to do the same thing. And I'll just call my class my class. And I'll put it under my seminar YouTube group, which is right here. This is new in Xcode 4.1. And I want to add it to my seminar YouTube target. I could have two different target. I could have an iPad target and an iPhone target here. We'll learn more about that later on in, in the courses. And I'll hit save. Typically, you always want to have your classes start, <coughs> your class names start off um, with a capital letter. That's for who's ever following you, maintaining your code, your compiler, your app doesn't care what the capitalization is, but for maintainability and, and keeping with um, normal traditional coding, it's always uppercase. And then, of course, it's camel case, which is upper lower case words. Um, here, so anyway, I have my .h file, which is my interface file. That's how it's referred to in Objective-C, and my .m file, which is my implementation file. The .h file is basically says, how are we gonna interface with this, um, with this class? Well, inside of my first brackets that I make is where I'm gonna put my instance variables, also called IVARs. They're also called properties. So you'll hear, um, you'll hear that used um, quite a few times. And I'm just gonna copy and paste some code here for my instance variables. And I have three instance variables that are um, declared. Um, age of type int is programmer of type bool um, and uh, name as, uh, as a string pointer. And then after your brackets, this is where your instance variables go, but before, after your brackets, but before the at end um, symbol, which matches up with the at interface, we, we put our, um, our methods. Remember, methods provide action to our, um, for our class. 
All right, so here I have um, four methods, and um, they these methods here. The first two, uh, first one returns an integer, no no parameter. Second one returns a string. The third one returns a bool. The uh, fourth one here it returns a void, doesn't return anything, but it takes one parameter. All right, and now typically what you want to do is what I do is I just copy and paste from my dot h to my dot m because then I don't have to worry about mistyping. Um, Xcode allows you to leave the semicolons there so you can copy and paste it. That's kind of new um, with Objective-C. But I get rid of them because that's the way tip most developers do it because that's what they're used to. And it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. So I'm just going to go here and put my brackets because I'm going to add some code. Um, and I'll add that. And it's squawking at me here because I don't really have it return anything. So um, int age, I just have it return my, um, my age, which is, turns it green, which means it's an instance variable that it recognizes. Get name, I'm gonna have it return um, my name, I think it is, name, there it is. Programmer, I'm gonna have it return, um, I'll have it return, I think it is, is programmer, I'll just copy and paste that, so you don't have to watch me um, mistype. And then set age is a um, is a setter, which means it's going to set an instance variable. These are getters; they set instance variables. Um, setters set instance variables. So I'm going to go ahead and take this age that gets passed in and set my instance variable um, to new age, whatever gets passed into it. So there we go. We have our. We have our, I don't think it's squawking at me here because I've got a semicolon. So right now, we have our class defined um, with our implementation, our header file. In next week's class, we're going to learn how to use this class, how to go to our dot main and uh, initialize, instantiate our, our my class and, uh, and use it. And uh, that's what we'll do next week. For those of you that are listening live, um, I will go ahead and hang up and, and uh, discontinue the recording. And you can ask questions on this or anything else in the book. Thanks, everyone, for attending. And we'll see you next Wednesday at the same time, 630. And, of course, if you'd like to attend, those of you that are watching the YouTube video and like to attend next week's class live, just go to free YouTube and um, go to YouTube channel or click here for the webinar. And make sure that you do, do, you do select um, to be notified on YouTube when you're done watching this. Um, subscribe to my channel and you'll get the free updates whenever I add new YouTube videos. Thanks everybody.